Hello there, and welcome to a new tutorial for DF Hack. In this one, I will be introducing two tools that you can use to browse through your map and find out what's available on your map. The tools that I'm going to introduce today are the reveal tool, which will allow you to see the entire map, which is really useful if you're looking for certain structures or a certain type of cavern or not too far away caverns, all these things. Basically with this tool, you can see the entire map and I'm going to show you a few tricks around that. And the other tool that I'm going to introduce is the prospector tool, which is less invasive and which gives you just a just more data to work with. So I found both tools quite useful. They achieve basically the same goal, but I found them similar enough to introduce them both and leave it to you which ones you use, all right? So let's get started first off with the prospector tool because I personally find that a lot less invasive, like I said, and it's pretty cool if you want to not spoil yourself the fun. So if you let the if you run the command just like that, you get a readout about what's on your map to be found, like all the stone types, all the ores, all the gems, all the plants. Basically everything which is growing on your map is summarized here in its amount, where it's to be found, and yeah, it's a pretty nice listing type. And I really, really like to use this if I'm looking for certain types of minerals or certain types of stone stones, you know. Sometimes you want to have that jet, for example, or you know, it's it's really useful to to just probe. Here, for example, bituminous coal. So there's a couple of uses for that, but also a couple of tweaks. So if you type minus V for value and you run that thing, you get a readout about the precise value of these items. I find this most useful for the area of gems because you know this way you can find out how the gem distribution is another cool way here. Another command is minus S this sorts the uh, this is a sort command so if we use now minus s and then ors you, you have to skip that empty uh, tile you know it's not like that that would be uh, wrong you have to use it like that and or would not work it's ors all right now i'm just uh, staking out the <laughs> little problems there and if you run it like that so now I see only the ores, so you can use every one of these categories. So shrubs is a category, I don't know, other vein stone. I don't know how to look for that category, but basically this, uh, this term here has been so far always what we've been looking for. So these are the main uses for the prospect tool. You can also prospect other areas like the hell, just like if you really want that. But uh, this is pretty much all this tool does. I love it for its obvious reasons. You know, it's pretty cool if you're looking for something in particular and you don't want to spoil all the fun. Basically, just looking for, if you're looking for a certain type of, type of stone or coal like that. All right, so let's go on over to the other tool, the more invasive tool, the reveal tool. So if you just use reveal, you revealed the entire map just like that boom map revealed now and if you want to revert that you use unrevert unreveal map hidden again so this way you can take a peek and then afterwards you can reverse it again to play the map normally so there are a couple of extra um commands here like uh I call it more creative uses for the uh, reveal command, but I didn't find them too directly useful. I don't know why no pause is linked to that, but there's a command to um, make it um, impossible to pause the game. So, but let's reveal the map for once and I'll show you what it does. So as you see here now, this uh, here is now dark gray. And if we browse deep enough, we will notice here everything uncovered. So you can zoom uh, further out so you can now see how the caverns are made and all those things and that's pretty cool if you want to know where the caverns are at if you have a certain type of idea or anything like that this is a pretty cool way to find out what's going on there so this goes all the way down unless you go want to go deeper so if you want to go deeper 
you have to first unreveal the map and then reveal this. So this is quite spoiler heavy. So if you don't want to know how it looks uh, down there, don't do this and scroll deeper. But if this is now the command, which also reveals the lowest layers, I'm not going to scroll down there. You have to do this on your own and make sure to unreveal the map again before you unpause the game if you if you unreveal the circus because otherwise it will count as activated and uh, hell will break loose all right so let's uh, reveal that thing one more time because there is one more thing you can use this tool for which is uh, sadly not that uh, obvious in the steam version so as a matter of fact here it looks all gray and uh, you know uninformative but actually Actually, we see way more than that. We would be able to see the exact stone types here. And if you mouse over, you also see jet wall, chalk wall. And there is a nice trick. We go on over into the settings and we activate the ASCII glyphs. So take a trip with me into the world of ASCII glyphs. So now all of a sudden, the I'll show it to you one more time. So this is a before and after. You know, so in ASCII, you see everything, and you can mouse over. You see where the clay stone's running. You see where the microcline is running. You see where the hematite veins are running. This is pretty cool if you want to know where stuff's at. I mean, it's obviously very, very cheat heavy. You know, you're uh, giving away all your in the uh, secrets of your map. But I found it pretty cool to to show you what it actually looks like if you reveal the map in ASCII tiles. So every one of these colors is a stone type. These little asterisk icons are gemstones. This is uh, brimstone, something more special. Here we have a, uh, a, a small cluster of uh, satin spar, claystone, chalk. So every material has its own icon and color so the longer you play the more you know but uh here's a huge cluster of magnetite with a native platinum uh, thing this is a rich buy uh, a very very rich map but i did this because i wanted to showcase how cool it looks like so you, it takes a while to get used to it admittedly all right if this is just uh, to you what the hell he's talking about use prospector instead it's giving you basically the same informations without the ASCII glyphs. So let's uh, reveal, unreveal the map again for a last time and uh, I'll end this tutorial with that. With these two tools you can check out what's going on in your map and uh, make yourself uh, a good information about that. I just want to give you at the end of this video a short pointer towards locate or if you were wondering why the hell are you not using this icon. I I didn't get it working properly, that's all. I mean, the the tools I have introduced are massively more useful than that one, and it feels either incomplete or bugged currently. If anybody knows how to use this tool in a way that it does more than pointing you on one single vein, let me know. I didn't get any magic out of this script, so I excluded it out of this, out of this video. Alrighty, so that's been that. Leave me your comments down below if you want to see other scripts of this uh, massive library here explained. Drop me a comment, I'll see what I can do. And besides that, a thumbs up would be wildly appreciated. Same goes for a subscription. There is also a playlist link down there if you want to check out all the other DF hack videos I did. Knock yourself out. So, that being said, have a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon again, and bye bye